Okay, um, this video I'm just going to show you how I go about um, introducing orchid seeds into tissue culture. So inside this uh, little paper envelope is um, some very fine seeds. So what I've got, what I have here is a um, tiny little funnel so I can get it into the glass tube. Just bear with me while I hopefully get it all in there. Oh, there we go. Like I said, it's pretty fine, so we just you don't have to be ster too sterile at this moment. I like to spray everything down in here with alcohol just to sterilize it a little bit, but there's no big deal at the moment. But, um, we just need to get the seed in there or spore. So I think that's about it. We've got most of it in there anyway. Alright, so to sterilize this, um, I'm just going to use peroxide. Um, it's three percent peroxide. Um, buy it off the shelf. Um, if you can only get um, six percent, just double the water. So add water to it. Sorry. So if you're using five mils, add five mils of water. If you need to use ten mils, use ten mils of water. It's pretty easy to get off the shelf, um, chemist. Anyway, so if you can get the three percent, just makes life a little bit easier. So what we're going to do. Um, is pour a little bit of peroxide in here, don't have to be exact, just not too much. I'm just trying to wash a bit of that wash a bit of that seed down from out of the little funnel as well. Cut most of it. Alright, so we've got our orchid seed and our um, peroxide in there. I'm probably gonna give it I don't know, five to ten minutes soaking in there to sterilize and get um, all the hydrogen peroxide into the little pores on the seed. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it for five minutes, ten minutes, uh, and then we'll come back to it. The timing's not, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, as I said, the good thing with using um, peroxide is um, once we add it to the seed to the media, we just simply add the liquid into the media. Um, in the presence of um, fairly strong sunlight, um, the hydrogen peroxide will break down into um, water and oxygen, so there's no chemicals involved in it at all, really. Um, so, like I said, we'll let it sit for a little while and we'll come back to it. Alright, um, well, orchid seeds had a fair bit of time now to soak. Um, as you'll notice, it, it floats to the surface, so when we go to suck it up with our syringe, um, we'll need to keep it a little bit agitated so we can actually get some of that seed in there. Um, also, with your containers, because you're adding a little bit of fluid to these containers, um, try and drain out as much um, of the condensation as possible beforehand, which I've already done to these. Um, it's always still going to be a bit in there. It's hard to get it all out. But try and get as much out as you can. Um, otherwise, your um, orchid seed's going to be floating around on the surface there, and that doesn't tend to work real well. All right, so um, simply, simply remove the lid. Jar. Now I've pre-sterilised these, um, you can do it in your autoclave with your pressure cooker and wrap them up in foil um, or just give them a good soak in alcohol and let them uh, dry out which is um, what I've done. Alright so like I said we need to heat this a little bit agitated as we suck a little bit up so we can get some of these uh, orchid seeds so just give it a good agitation and we'll suck some up in there. Now, key to this is because that seed will um, float and it will rise up into the top of the syringe now as we go we can just give it a little bit of a tap and slowly let all the uh, seed float to the surface or the majority of it so we can reduce some of the hydrogen peroxide in here just by squirting it back into the container as we go and you're going to lose a little of, um, seed back into there but that's alright we have plenty of it, so like I said, we'll just keep going. So we can basically reduce the amount of um, hydrogen peroxide we're actually adding back to our containers. Now, if you can see in there, a lot of our seed is gathered at the top here, so um, that's pretty good. That's what we want. Um, and basically down here, there's not too much seed, so we can get rid of a little bit more of that hydrogen peroxide in there. You can repeat this process a few times if you want. So now it's a simple matter of reversing what we just did. Give it a tap, we'll get all the uh, 
seat hopefully to rise to the top. Just, there we go. Just a gentle tap every now and then so we can directly inject that into the tissue culture, tissue culture container. Um, not too much of an agitation as you can see I'll give it a bit of a too hard there and um, all the seats mixed back in with the fluid. Alright. We've got a lot of it in there now, so what I'll do is see and hopefully just inject this into the out. Now we have got some in there, so we'll just repeat the process again. Simply sucking up some of this uh, orchid seed. There we go. Give it a few seconds to float to the surface, get the old tap, oh, but like I said, um, because we're just um, injecting in hydrogen peroxide into these containers, they once they're exposed to a bit of fair um, bit of light, hydrogen peroxide will break down to um, water and oxygen. Um, and yeah, no residue will be left behind. Alright, so if we go again, we'll simply squirt out most of this fluid. Hydrogen peroxide, turn it down to a decent level and just spin around. And once again, Maybe not be able to see that, but our know, orchid seeds, or most of them, will tend to float to the top. You're not going to get all this seed into these containers, um, but the sheer number of seeds that are here, it should get a fair few into the containers. Squirt that top bit into the container again. Like this. And give it one more go into that container. And obviously agitate it, otherwise you just soak up straight hydrogen peroxide. There we go. going to be hard to see but um, you probably have a thousand uh, orchid seeds floating around on that surface in there so we'll just give it a bit of a dispersion around try and get them all over the surface and there we go and that's basically it I'll leave them and hopefully uh, we've got no contamination in there and we'll get some orchids growing in our uh, media soon um, and just continue on with the process until you um, 
for all your containers now. I've only used the two here, but um, with that amount of seed, you could probably get four, five containers, but um, for today, I'm just gonna put it into two. So it's pretty straightforward. And like I said, of course we use the um, hydrogen peroxide, 3% hydrogen peroxide. Um, there's no need to rinse this. Like if we had to use bleach to sterilize this, um, we'd have to rinse it in distilled water a couple of times and then inject the distilled water in there instead of the hydrogen peroxide. But um, this works quite well. So this is the process I use. And hopefully we'll have some orchid seed and not um, fungus or mold. Oh, and before I go, um, the media I'm using is just MS Media um, at about a third strength or half. I usually go third for um, carnivorous plants and orchids, so and it seems to work well, but you can use up to half, but um, I prefer using a third strength, so yeah, it's pretty much the same as I use for most carnivorous plants um, or native plants that um, are sensitive to um, phosphates and that sort of thing.